Hey guys, uh, I want you guys to know that I love you guys. I've been praying for you all. Uh, I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves and not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, all of that is interconnected and part of all of who we are as human beings that God has created. But uh, that's actually what I want to talk to you guys about today. Before we get there, I just want to give you guys a couple of really quick updates. We have started a YouTube channel, and so welcome to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching from YouTube, then hey, welcome here. Uh, it's called the Ascent E Free. So look us up, subscribe to us. This is going to be another platform that we're going to be using in this season to just stay connected with you guys. We'll be uploading lesson videos up here. Uh, we'll even maybe live stream a couple times. We just want to stay connected now with you guys more than ever. We also created a Spotify worship playlist. You know, we threw up a question on Instagram on our story asking you guys for your favorite worship songs. And you guys responded and it was so helpful. And we made a playlist called The Ascent Worship Mix. So look that up on Spotify. It was super encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you. And we're gonna continue adding to it. So if you have a worship song that you just love, that you've been really ministering to you, send it our way. Send it our way and we'll add it to the playlist. And it'll just be another way that we can build one another up and encourage one another. And don't forget to like and follow and subscribe to our Ascent Facebook and Instagram pages. That's just another way for you guys to stay in the loop, for you guys to stay updated, and for us to keep you guys informed and encouraged as well. Now, today I want to talk to you guys about your breathing. Now, before you guys roll your eyes at me, because I know some of you guys are thinking, I know how to breathe, Kevin. I've been breathing since I was born. It's just what I do. I know that, and I'm sure you're very good at breathing, but I know we can always improve our breathing as well. In fact, this is something athletes, professional athletes talk about all of the time, is maximizing their breathing performance, controlling their breath, perfecting their breathing, having proper breathing so that they can optimize their athletic performance. You can see this when a tennis player, you know, when they're going like, ha, ha, right? <laughs> That's my impression of a tennis player. Two years varsity, guys. Uh, you know, when they're striking the ball, that's them releasing a breath, actually. Or you, there's even videos of LeBron James doing some meditative breathing on the sidelines during an NBA Finals game. It's just always that where essentially they're trying to maximize their physical performance by slowing down and controlling their breathing. I just realized as I'm recording, there is a LaCroix can there. And Kelly's been getting really upset about me leading stuff around because we're just stuck at home all day. <laughs> but did you also know that breathing, while also being essential and vital for our physical health, is incredibly beneficial for our mental, emotional, and spiritual health. I can cite one example for me personally. I wouldn't consider myself an overly anxious person, but I've definitely had seasons where my anxiety is kind of ramped up a little bit and it's way, way higher than normal or usually. And it would be one of those things where I enter into a season of anxiety where I have anxious thoughts, where maybe my stomach is kind of tight and I don't know what, and I'm kind of paralyzed. I feel kind of paralyzed almost in a sense and I'm not really sure what to do or how to move forward. And how I would typically deal with it is I would ride it out. Sometimes I'd do okay and sometimes I'd do way less than okay. I'd actually handle it really, really poorly. And I never really had tools to really manage this. But I remember my last semester of seminary, so I kind of put this off to the end of my uh, academic career. My last year of se seminary, I started seeing a counselor. And he gave me an exercise that I've, I still use to this day called the four by four breathing exercise. It's also known as the box breathing. And this is something that I've read that apparently Marines or Navy SEALs use. I don't know if that's true. I Googled it. Uh, I should fact check myself, but apparently like before they go into a high stress situation, it's just something they do to just control their breathing. Now, I wanna emphasize that this didn't cure my anxiety. This didn't remove anxiety. What it helped me do, though, was slow down, take a breath, literally, and be able to move forward even though I know that I wasn't 100%. I would still have whatever tasks I needed to do. I would still have my problems to deal with, but just being able to hit pause, rest, and reflect on the God who was with, remember that I have the God who is with me, created me, loves me, died for me, and that I can move forward in that, even when I'm not feeling 
Now, before we get into the four by four breathing exercise, I wanna talk about what a couple things in terms of breathing in its relation to our own spirituality. So what does breathing and our breath really have to do with our own walk with God and our own spirituality and our own relationship with him? Well, one of the things we see in the Old Testament is this idea, ruach. And a ruach is often translated into breath. And there's a lot of different meanings behind the word ruach. And it's used in a lot of different ways and contexts. And just because it's used one way doesn't mean it's used that way over and over and over again. But one of those images of ruach is breath. <sighs> breath, right? And another image that's often at play with the breath image is the image of spirit. One example in which we see these images overlap and kind of play with one another is in Ezekiel. So in Ezekiel 37, in the Valley of the Dry Bones, when God is breathes his breath, his ruach, onto the bodies, onto the dry bones, and essentially animates them and brings them back to life, it is essentially God empowering, equipping, energizing life again, bringing that which was dead and old, making it and making it new and come alive again. We see this in Ezekiel chapter 39 as well, when God's talking about the restoration of Israel and how he's going to pour out his ruach, his spirit in that context, right, onto Israel. And the kind of overlapping image is this, that when God's presence is with his people, he is empowering, engaging, and equipping them for his glory. And the New Testament picks up on this as well. They take the idea of ruach and use the word pneuma, which also has that same sort of breath spirit imagery. And we see this in Acts 2, which is referencing Joel 2 when God pours out his spirit, right? And in Acts 2, right, Jesus is told the disciples, wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon you. And then you will be my church, you will be my witnesses all over the world. And when the Holy Spirit, right, is poured onto the church, they are empowered. They are equipped to be the hands and feet of Jesus and go out and glorify him and his will. So maybe when you guys are in a season of anxiety and you're not sure what to do, you're not sure how to move forward, you're not really sure what's going on and these thoughts are almost paralyzing you from going and doing what you feel like God's calling you to do, remember that God has equipped empowered and is energizing your works so that you can glorify him and that the same God who loves you, created you, died for you, and now lives in you and has given his spirit to you is also at work as well. All right guys, so now onto the four by four breathing exercise and it's called the four by four because you're essentially doing uh, four different steps to account of four and you're doing it four times. So maybe it should be called the four by four by four, but this is the name that was given to me, unless I'm saying it wrong. But it's called the four by four, so four different steps, four to a count of four each step, and doing it four different times. Now the count itself is not the most important part. That's just kind of a little guideline for you, for us to make sure that we're taking these deep breaths. It's also important to remember that, you know, while we're taking deep breaths, that we're doing so gently, right? We're not heaving like <gasps> like that kind of defeats the purpose and can get our heart rate up even more and actually stress us out a little more, right? Because the goal of this is to slow things down, right? So here's how it goes. What I want you guys to do, maybe just for a second, you know, make sure you're standing straight, not stiff, straight, right? So we're getting lots of good oxygen, right? Maybe relax your arms, put them at your sides a little bit, find a quiet place, and close your eyes, right? Close your eyes just for a second or four, right? And take a deep breath into a count of four. And then hold for a count of four. Then breathe out for a count of four. And then, then just hold for a count of four again. And you're gonna do that three more times and guys, this is just one of several breathing exercises that there are out there. And this is just what has worked for me and that I've latched onto. 
it really helps remind me, and like I said, it doesn't fix all of my problems or make them go away. I still have to deal with my problems afterward. But it helps me remember and reflect on the fact that I have a God who is with me in all circumstances and seasons. So if you wanna find a different breathing exercises, I encourage you to do that. I've actually included in the, if you're watching on YouTube, a, a link in the description below from one of my old seminary buddies, George, who is a mental health counselor in the Chicagoland area at a place called Hopeful Thera Therapy. And he works with adolescents, young adults, kind of a wide age range really, but has a lot of great resources on um, just mental health as a whole and has a video on different breathing exercises. So find what works really for you. And I hope that in a season where it feels maybe high anxiety, that you are taking time to rest, taking time to remember the God who loves you, who died for you, and lives inside of you now and today. I love you guys, I'm praying for you guys. Let me know what helps, let me know what works, and let us know how you guys are doing. All right, see you guys soon.